Well, I rearranged the little wagon here for maybe a little bit more cold sensitive items, especially stuff I'm rooting, which I may have already killed. You never know. They, those nice uh, leaves that were looking so nice, you know, they got about a 45, 46 degree temperature drop here this morning, last night. Don't look at some cool news though. We got went to the nursery and we got three more fruit trees and I'll tell you what these two are a little bit later this guy here is an Illinois everbearing mulberry yes I had some I tried to uh, uh, root didn't take right for whatever reason last year and I have had this before in a really wet zone in a tire I think produced for a year or two and died maybe it got wet feet I don't know these these things seem to do okay in water but we're gonna try again and this is a cultivar I guess we didn't have some people use it as root stock you know to graft onto so we're out here again in this marsh supposedly marsh white grapefruit tree right before sundown and I'm just going to talk about something. I took this to a couple nurserymen. I said, what's wrong with it? What is it? I explained that it kind of tasted watered down. So nurserymen probably been in the business 25, 30 years or so, maybe. Nurseryman one said, I think this is a pomelo, a white pomelo. I said, I've eaten the red ones, and they were good tasting, they were flavorful, sweet. I don't think I've ever eaten a white one. I said, are they just a bad fruit? He said, hate to be the bearer of bad news when you're expecting a grapefruit, but this is a pomelo. And, you know, he, this guy said he didn't really like grapefruits, but so he wasn't going to taste it or anything. Then I went to Nursery Man 2. Same experience level, I guess. Maybe a little bit more the way he talked. He said, no, this is a grapefruit. He pushed on the grapefruit and he, he could feel the moisture level. He could feel... See, uh, you know, the thickness of the skin just by pushing on it. And he twisted it around, so just well hydrated, yada yada. He said it can't be a pomelo because it's too wet. He says pomelos are drier and, and all that stuff. And said, it looks like a grapefruit. And I said, can it be a marsh white? Or I've had other white grapefruits. <clears throat> including this year they had a thinner skin they had the acidity they had the bitterness they had you know loads of flavor i said could you know being in a wet area or not enough sun and different issues is there something wrong with the soil he said he said no he said being you know wetter might hydrate it slightly more but it would not like just water down the flavor he you know he's uh had properties that were wetland properties where he had pomelos and he had you know grapefruits and all kinds of stuff so his explanation was it's a grapefruit and it could be a marsh white and that marsh whites aren't as flavorful as Duncan grapefruits as far as the white ones are concerned so the take back of that is still don't have any answers you know the second one seemed to have more knowledge and experience in it you know just he knew how to feel it you know and uh can tell but what's what's the definitive answer it's not a citromella rootstock because i have a citromella rootstock as far as i know there's no way the tree i got you know froze to the ground and killed the graft or whatever 
I mean, it's been a healthy tree since I've planted so it. I question whether or not I should try to replace this marsh white grapefruit with another marsh white grapefruit. Ultimately, a last minute decision. We got two Duncans here. Hopefully, if these guys survive, we'll have the real best white grapefruit cultivar there is. Despite, you know, the high number of seeds.